Samantha. Welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics as if you've never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. Let's do a little smashy potatoes. I've got some leftover beef stew and I wanna have it with some smashed potatoes. So I bought these really little cute potatoes and we're just gonna give them a bath first to start. We give them a little rinse and then I'm gonna put them in cold water. You always wanna start potatoes in cold water. Don't have the water already boiling like you would pasta. Okay, we're gonna do cold water. I'm gonna put, it doesn't matter how many, but I'm gonna put like half this bag. So I'm gonna give them first a little rinse and then I'm gonna cover them in cold water. Okay, whoops, look at that guy running off. Cover them in cold water and then I'm gonna pop them on the stove, bring them up to a boil and I'm gonna salt the water too. And I'm just gonna boil them until they become not completely cooked, but just tender. I can stick a fork into them easily. I'm gonna check to see how soft they are by gently putting my spoon through. Okay, I was able to go through, so it's time to drain them in my strainer. I strained them and you can see how hot they are. Look at the steam coming off. I'm gonna let them sit here for a second, let all this extra moisture come off. I don't want them to be cold, but I want them to cool enough that all this extra moisture can get off of them before I roast them in the oven. We've let our potatoes cool off just a smidge. They're still really hot, but they're just more dry. I'm gonna use a mason jar, you know. I love a mason jar, I'm obsessed with a mason jar. You could use a glass, you could use a rolling pin, just something that can handle the heat and can withstand some pressure. We're just gonna give each potato a smash. Can you see it? That's why I use these little potatoes because they just do so good for the smash. I love it. So we're just gonna give them all a little smash. Now I used to sometimes roast them and then smash them and that works too. Um, I just think that boiling is easier and I just think it gets them cooked through better, but you could roast them in the oven and then smash them. I gotta make space. Ideally, we want them to be in a single layer here on our baking sheet. So I'm just moving them around with my cup to give myself room to smash it and leave it. And you can choose how they're hot, so be careful. Choose how smashed you want them to be. You could smash them to oblivion. You can give them just a little bit of a smash. It doesn't really matter, but you just create so much like texture here and space for crunchy, crispy bits. And I love crispy skin. I think it tastes so good. So let me finish smashing them all. We're gonna give them each a little drizzle of oil. Just a little on each one, a little drizzle. Cause you know, that's gonna help them get nice and crispy, which is what we're looking for. And yes, we could flip them over and give them a little drizzle on the other side. Um, we probably don't need to. This is the part you can season them however you like, okay? I'm obviously gonna use salt and pepper. You could do garlic powder here. You could do, you know, tahini if you like that flavor. You could do Italian seasoning. You could do whatever you want. Definitely potatoes need salt, and definitely they need pepper. Outside of that, you do whatever makes you happy. And I know people are like, oh, just tell me the exact recipe, but that's not what we do here, okay? I'm teaching you the technique, and then you can dress it up however you like. Put a little smoked paprika on here. Personally, I love salt and pepper. So I'm gonna pop these into a 400 degree oven. They're basically cooked. We just want them to get crispy and beautiful, so I'm gonna put them pretty close to the top. I'm gonna to put in a 400 degree oven. I'm just gonna babysit it, watch for it to get crispy and beautiful. I have short little arms. I'm gonna burn myself. So I said 15, but took 30, and I had to turn it up to 450 <laughs> to get it to even get crispy on me. So if I hadn't used the parchment paper, I would have done broiler like 500, but I did use the parchment paper, so I couldn't. But there definitely is some that got crunchy. It's insanely smoking hot and you should not be tasting it until it cools off. Oh my God. Did you hear the crunch? Mm. Can you see the crunchy goodness? It just gives you so much more like surface to get them crunchy. And I shouldn't complain, 30 minutes is pretty quick for potatoes, but still I had to boil them too. They're really hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I mean, who doesn't love a potato, right? 
How hot, how hot. Ooh, hot, really hot. When they cool off though, I'm thinking we could dip them and dunk them. We should make a little sauce, a little dip. What do you think? A little like mayo, vinegar, a little like pasta salad type dip. What's so great about this method is the skin gets crunchy and crispy and there's these little crispy bits. But the inside of the potato is so soft and so luscious and so pillowy and like perfection. Chef's kiss. 10 out of 10 recommend.